Hello everyone, this is General and welcome back to another Let's Play Shogun 2 Total War. So in our previous video we defeated the Asai forces out on the field and now we're besieging their castle. And we're just waiting for additional reinforcements before we take that settlement. Here I am going to reinforce this small force that managed to get a heroic victory against the show. And they could have probably auto-resolved themselves, however I decided to send in the fresh troops first to ensure that we can obtain victory. And here we go. Mima Saka is now under Oda control. So there are a few settlements here that could probably use some repairing, like South Tamba was apparently not repaired. And barren soil as well, but we're gonna upgrade the the roads. And then we are going to get some additional soldiers here. Or in this case just one guy. And I'm going to get some archers, a mix of the two. And then we can also get an additional Japanese rice exchange. Yeah, let's do it. We have enough food I think. Or at least I hope. And we can... Let's see, army presence is 12. That means we need to abandon one guy here. Who will that man be? This guy. Actually no, it should be this guy. Send this guy over here. Looks like they have a decent garrison there. So, we are going to continue our siege. For now, and we could pursue, but we just lost. Who did we just lose? We lost someone. I don't know who we lost, but we're going to attack this Yukita force on the field. So Akechi Toshikane will be fighting Cho Toshi Toshisuna and. The Battle of Okayama in 1554 now take place. I'm thinking this one will be pretty heavy with battles, mainly because our forces aren't overwhelming the enemy. So it'll be relatively even in terms of the power bar, so that means we'll be forced to fight them. So these are more or less some of the bigger battles that we'll be seeing, I think. So, group one. Actually, I'm just going to be lazy here and make this guy. Let's see, tiger formation was warp tiger, melee infantry, heavy defense. And we also have. Ah, yes, thank you. This is much more helpful. So, we have the spear formation, balanced army attack formation. Row of katana in the back, the wooden center. Okay, so let's do let's do spear point. Uh, crane's wing isn't bad. Reclining dragon. Reclining dragon. So let's try something new, yeah. Or or try something different. We don't do this very often. These guys have the hill. I mean, we'll probably have the hill soon enough. Oh, jeez. That's not what I want. Despite them being locked in formation, you can actually choose how wide you want the formation to be. So, in this case, we're gonna do something like that. Gonna have them run, take the hill. They will probably have their hill, and then we'll be at a stalemate where we just sit on hills the entire time. And we definitely need some cavalry in our in, in these like new armies that we built. We only have cavalry with the men that marched east, and those two armies. Otherwise, these armies don't 
have, well actually I think this army did have some number of cavalry, but then they all died in a siege defense. It was sad times, man, it was sad times. They all just got destroyed. Okay. I think everyone is in position one. For us to march down. And I guess we didn't need to, or maybe we did, I don't know. Alright, so you guys are walking around the hill, okay. Alright, skirmish has begun. Up. 
My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. These guys will attack over here. And we shall shoot the general that's coming at us. And not a not a soul manages to hit their target. Rally and attack. These guys move out. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! Alright, so we didn't even need to get our men behind the enemy and the battle is completely over now. Alright, we're just gonna continue the route. Akechi has helped us achieve victory. So the basic meaning of etiquette is to be quick at both the beginning and end and trick in the middle. Maxim from Agakure in the shadow of the leaves. Yamamoto Sune Tomo and we lost this guy. Darn it. Lost 1,200 men trying to defeat this samurai heavy army. Let's see, this is a fortress. Well, fortress it may be. But we are going to see it. Get some men there. Start recruiting over here as well. Probably build up some men over here. And we have two armies here as well. These guys should be ready in the next... Oh wait, actually, this is the next turn. We just wanted to prevent them from building additional soldiers. So now we are going to assassinate one of their generals. And let's see what happens. Oh, ninja. I wonder if this guy ever manages to see him. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, wounded, but good enough for me. And we have this ninja over here that is... I could kill the daimyo, but instead we'll sabotage the army. Failed to do so. It's cost me money. That fool. Oh wow, these guys have ninja, Kisho ninja units. Very impressive. Alright, we do have some firebomb throwers that we never ended up using. Where did they go? Maybe it's over here? Yes, there we go. This is a stronghold. Send this army up here. And apparently they couldn't reach it. Gotta get some better roads. Let's see, this settlement has... not a lot of men. And so we will assault it, because we need to take the settlement and continue our advanced west, so we can fight the Chosokabe and then the Koreans. So, the objective now is to really just take all of the, all of the main islands until Realm Divide and then take Kyoto when they decide that we have become too powerful 
in this game. That is when we will destroy the Ashikaga Shogunate. So, man. There we go. Let's see. Water or no water? I vote for no water. Okay. Oh, it's just a small fort. Okay. I thought it was going to be bigger for some reason. And this will be unit 3. And I suppose we can do 3 and 1. So we will hide this army in the forest. Go back to group 1. I guess this guy would just chill out over here by himself. Group 2 will hang out over here. Actually, I'm gonna keep group 2 with these archers. No formation. 3. Be over here. That leaves us with group 4 over here. And... The remaining... The remaining men over here. So I'm going to spread out the men. And like right here, that seems to be a good spot. Going to make them sweat a little bit. Let's see. So not too many archer units. Actually, yeah, hardly any actually. So then over here. And then let these guys settle in very quickly or as slowly as they want, doesn't really matter. My main force will be over here. Wow, their morale is already down in the dumps. Despite having superior numbers, However, letting this one auto-resolve would have resulted in heavy, heavy losses. So, that's why we are fighting this one. Looks like they are moving some men around in the stronghold. Not too much going on on their side, I don't think. Alright, I'm going to fast forward as this is more basically, yeah, mostly just marching. Okay, so... Let's get started. And I got for these guys over here that are walking away. Oh darn it. We got a little bit too close. Oh well. Start by shooting some fire first. And then we move this guy away. In a moment. I think they only got like one guy shooting. And they finally hit my guys. these guys over here again. Fast forward some more. There we go. I think we can hit these guys from the back, but I'm not sure. So lots of fire. If only we could just continue to shoot fire, but that is a little bit too powerful. Which is why they limit it. At least I think that's why they limit it. And 
I'm gonna gun the general in the back. These guys are just in a straight row. Actually, never mind. They're <laughs> they're in a very weird spot. So a little bit of dust here and there. And we're only killing those guys right now. I'm surprised they're still able to hit us. I guess we'll try to hit them in the back. See what happens. And we're gonna get ready to attack. here. Reduce the number of casualties we'll be getting. Or at least that's what we'll try to do. And continue fast forwarding. There we go. Go for the general. I need some more archers. Alright. Oof. Look at that! Pew pew pew! Even if we don't hit the general, we have a chance of hitting those guys. So, not all is lost. Although this might be... this might take a while. Because of that. So they do have archers positioned here and here, heavily fortified at the front, which is why it would be very unwise to breach or attempt to breach at the moment. 26 over there. Now I'm going to get my men ready in preparation for a breach as we'll probably end up having to do that because time is of the essence. Fast forward a little bit. Very few enemy casualties so far. So let's aim for the bigger, the bigger potatoes over here. Get almost flaming arrows again. So if we suffer some casualties, that'll be fine. Wow, these guys are just in a blob right now. So let's fast forward until they can shoot. Oh jeez, come on guys. And now we're gonna get to those guys again. Hopefully this time they can get it right. There we go. Much better. We may have managed to... Oh, has not caught on fire just yet. But wow, look at the... Look at the dust. Very atmospheric, this environment. And like that one guy that's on fire, and that guy is just like, yep, he's on fire. That's, that's all. Nothing to see here, gents. Nothing to see here. Okay, so it looks like I need to breach 
Otherwise, this castle will never be taken. So I am going to begin the breach. Fast forward a little bit. I'm just gonna shoot them down as many as I can. We've killed. We haven't killed a lot. We only killed like about 300 men. Okay, we're taking a very slow approach so that we can continue our conquest. But at the end, is it worth it? Is it? Okay, so that thing's on fire. Wow! That is a lot of fire. And it looks like it is now destroyed. Waiting for said explosion. Enemy is... Just running around. And they are engaging my men, surprisingly. So everyone's going to come into this one little spot right here and it will be a intense tug of war between the two armies. As you can see that that guy's head fell off as he was trying to get in on the action over here. So a bunch of dudes right here. Those guys. These two will attack those dudes over there. It looks like they've dismounted the wall. Which means it is now time for this army to get in there and help. So we're gonna march. Oops. Burn it down. Okay, let's see, where can you shoot? Alright, so everything's on fire. Men are moving in. Or at least they're... Looks like they're trying to. Everyone is on this side now. Which is kind of fantastic and also really bad at the same time. Let's see, flaming arrows. Flaming arrows are more powerful than normal arrows and can also cause flammable objects to catch fire but are unusable in wet weather. So a little bit more fire over here and add some, you know, spice into this battle. Uh, these dudes are shaken but they have not given up yet. Yet. I repeat, not yet. But they might soon enough. So we are building, yeah, we are now burning down these two gates. Just waiting for them to be destroyed before we can move in. So we're shooting down these Boashigaru before we can march in. Or rather, we're just waiting for the gate at this point. So, moving in. Waiting for this one to explode and then we'll move in as well. Okay, so these two guys can come in now. Have this guy move in and also shoot those guys down. Alright. So men are almost in. Our men are running from the battlefield! Shame for this! Run a little bit quicker so they can flank these guys, although it looks like they destroyed all the Yari. That have decided to go in. Why are you guys walking? Let's try and get these two 
Two units in. Not having too much luck, unfortunately. Trying to get them in so that they can do some fighting and not get trapped in that awful gate choke point. And you need to shoot, and I think I need you to climb. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! Additional reinforcements. Split them 2-2. Two, two. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours! Shoot them from the back. You guys can come in over here, and... General! Move in! This guy needs to shoot those guys down. Let's see, how are you guys doing? 148, so... Looks like you guys are surviving the onslaught. And we are going to be flanking these guys over here. And that should seal the deal. We're going to have all archers stop stop shooting. These guys should be able to flank those guys now. Or something to that degree. And we're gonna try and take this castle here as well. I guess we should try to kill those guys. Have these guys come in. Reinforcements are here. These men are fighting to the death. The Bashal shall fall. The castle shall be mine. Victory! Man, victory is almost there. Bo Ashigaru stood no chance against the Yari. Alright. I must say, this is a very atmospheric castle. You can see all of these dead bodies right here. And not only that, you have a burning gate. Lots of older soldiers moving in. You know what? This is a perfect opportunity for a screenshot. There we go. There's my screenshot of the day. And another one. Alright, not bad. The raw destruction of our attack. And all you see is fire and dead bodies everywhere. Okay. Another battle won. And it looks like, wow, we are actually at the 33 minute mark, so pretty much out of time at this point. Barely lost any men. Oh, well, we actually lost like a third? Eh, not really. Almost a third. Some men have leveled up, I presume. Nobody has leveled up, surprisingly. Okay. Settlement is ours. Inaba is now under the Oda jurisdiction. The best show still have some territories left, so it's gonna be marching further west until we take everything. And we can, we should probably recruit some men here. Oh, can't recruit anyone there yet. Or only one. These guys, well, alright. I will end the turn here, or I could just take this settlement, or I could just wait until the next turn, that's what I'll do. Alright, so it looks like the Yukita have decided to try and break out of the siege, and it looks like they also killed my general, maybe. I'm gonna retreat. Okay. Back to our turn, assassination attempts, and a monopoly. My lord, we now hold all provinces that are rich in high-grade iron. Our new troops will benefit greatly from this. Mather, Master Smithies.
countless hours spent at the forge crafting arms and armor from the finest metals have greatly increased the efficiency of your blacksmiths. So minus 25% to the cost of recruiting melee infantry for 8 turns. However, we are out of time here, so I would like to thank you guys all for watching and see you next time. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord!